Hello everyone and welcome. Behind me, you can see the Quran gate of Shiraz. But how did I get to Shiraz? First, I got myself a ticket from the south terminal of Tehran to Shiraz, which is the biggest bus terminal in the whole the capital. It cost us something about 295,000, which is something about $7. Normally, it will take you 8 hours to go from Tehran to Shiraz, but due to the weather condition, which was snow and rain, and stopping for lunch and dinner, it took me 12 hours to reach Shiraz. The nature in the road was actually beautiful and I didn't mind taking it so long. Well, this is the background story, I guess. But anyway, I'm trying to explore Shiraz's historical sites, the ancient one and the Islamic ones. I divided my visit to Shiraz, which in the first day I visit the Islamic historical site and in the second day I visit the ancient historical sites of Shiraz. Because Shiraz used to be the historical capital, it is the center of culture in Iran. Therefore, many poets, artists and scientists were born, studied and died in this beautiful city. For example, behind me is the tomb of Kaje Kermani, which is one of the famous Shirazi poets. The interesting thing about the tomb, it does look like a Greek architecture because Kaja Kermani studied a while in Greece. It is raining now and I didn't expect that for a southern province in Iran when they usually get 15 degrees Celsius in the summer. Behind me, you can see the Quran gate. The Quran gate was made to welcome all the foreign tourists and visitors who come to Shiraz. My voice is echoing. I say compared to Tehran, Shiraz is really a clean city and it has a really good well-made urban metropolis.
Okay, so I'm right now in this coffee shop. You can see people here are dining. And I ordered a traditional sweet cake. And with a traditional, I guess, juice. It is called Falname. Which is delicious, actually. Guys, I have arrived to my room over here in this hostel. The rain was so wild and I have to charge my phone. So we're gonna wait for a couple of hours and then we're gonna get out. Check out this. It is called Favahar. It's a symbol representing Ahura Mazda as the god of Zarastrians. It is a really sacred symbol for the Achaemenian Empire, which we're gonna visit tomorrow. Okay, this is called Shah Chirag Shrine. When I wanted to get inside, the guards checked my bag and pockets because two months ago a terrorist incident happened here killing 19 person Shah Chirag is the most important religious shrine in the whole city of Shiraz. Okay, now we are stopping for lunch, but check out this place. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the DZ. This is the DZ. Simply a beef stew with bread and onion and a duke. Now, let me teach you how to eat DZ. First of all, you bring bowl, an empty bowl. Don't use this one. We're not gonna need it for now. And then you turn this bread into pieces. Fill it as much as you like to. You bring the stew. Usually they 
give you something to grab it because it's too hot, but this one is not that hot. You put the fork over here and you're gonna only use the water of the stew. You have a perfect tillit. Looks perfect. Duke is simply the mix between the water, salt and yogurt. But sometimes people get creative and they put lemon and sesame with it. You can even sometimes add parsley, vegetables or onion to your tilit. It makes it delicious. Onion is really a big part of the Iranian culture. I remember a guy telling me that if you want to live longer, you better eat onion and garlic. Both have bad smells, but of course, you know, we care about our nutrition better than our look. Okay, now when you don't have any more tillits, the next part is to crush everything inside the stew without the water. There is tomato, potatoes, and some meat, so you have to crush it really hard. They even put beans inside it. This thing called gushtku, it means the meat crusher. It was specifically made for this process. Now, you fill everything inside the stew in the bowl. Now simply, put the crushed meat on the bread with a little bit of onion and parsley. Now, it's a perfect bite. Now we had our dinner. Let me take you to a cool place called Ag Karim Khan. I don't know why, but it gets tighter the more we walk. It reminds me of the city of Yast. It has a lot of streets that look like this. Man, I wish I could live here. Okay, so I accidentally find this place. These are all poets. So it's a beautiful square over here. The beautiful thing about Shiraz and Isfahan and Yaz cities that every meter you walk there is history. You don't need to go to a specific historical site. It's just everywhere. These are monuments and elements, but it turned out they make you warm. Uh, look at that. Arg Karim Khan. Arg, it is called for the castle 
architecture that used to be built like this surrounding the whole palace or the city of course Aga Karim Khan is surrounding a palace but in a city in Iran like Kerman Argibam is surrounding a city I love it too I mean, for a king, it has a really simple urban design. Now we are heading to the palace or the 